Bob loves pizza. Bob goes to grab a slice of pizza from the pizza box, only to find heartbreak. The pizza box is empty. Dang it! Bob is momentarily a bleeding heart, but then he remembers his time machine. Bob goes back in time, classically reconditions his roommates to hate pizza, and then jumps out a window. Success! No more pizza hungry Bob. Bob in the past goes on his merry way with a full stomach. Or does he? If past Bob is full, then what reason does he have to go into the past to manipulate his way into pizza? And if there is no time traveling pizza delivery, then pizza hungry Bob is still hungry. Paradox. This is one of the most common time traveling paradoxes and is generally referred to as the grandfather paradox. It gets its name from the idea that if you go back in time and somehow kill your grandfather, then you would cease to exist, along with your ability to go back in time and kill your grandfather. This paradox goes as far back as the early 1900s. It has no clear individual originator, but the fiction writers Nathaniel Schrachner and Rene Barhavel were the first to deal with the topic in detail, although there were other authors that touched on the topic around the same time. No one remembers those other authors, though, because they forgot to subscribe. For all of you out there who are thinking, this is time travel, it's purely theoretical, why does it even matter? And the answer is, because it's fun, okay? Jeez, lighten up! Anyway, where was I? Oh yeah. There have been a lot of different proposed solutions to the grandfather paradox, but the main ones are as follows. Alternate timeline creation. ka -chow! As Doc Brown explains in Back to the Future, the change in the past created a split in the main timeline that leaves Marty and Doc in an alternate universe where his father is dead and Hill Valley is ruled by a billionaire Biff. Going back in time and killing a grandfather diverts the grandchild onto an alternate timeline branch where he can continue on with his life, regardless of how dead his grandpa is. Inevitability Shazam! Anything you do in the past to change things will lead to the same future outcome. The time traveler goes back in time to save his fiancée from being shot, only to have her run down by a car as she walks away. In the grandfather example, maybe your grandmother remarries, and the children she has are still your parents and you are still born. Changeless world, flying kickapow! In the movie Tenant, the characters often say, what's happened happened. You already liked the video, okay? Deal with it. The characters go back in time, but everything that they accomplish has already taken place and was always a part of the main timeline. Nothing they did changed anything. Maybe going back in time and causing the death of who you thought was your grandfather turns out to be his brother, and at the funeral your grandmother and grandfather meet for the first time. Harry Potter has another good example of this. Everything that happens as they go back in time is shown to be just another part of the story and how everything they did was done in tandem with their time traveling selves. Superpositions. In a test called the double slit experiment, it was shown that subatomic particles have the ability to be in two places at once. This has led people to theorize that both sides of the paradox can be true at the same time. Your comments are both valid and invalid simultaneously. You are born and your grandfather is killed. Your grandfather is alive and you are not born. This is what is commonly referred to as a closed time loop. So for all of you that were hoping for the ability to feed yourself pizza through time travel, the odds are not in your favor. If you'd like to have a good time learning other things, check out this other video. It's not cringy, I promise.